You know, I always thought that um, there, there's ulterior motives for everything, you know. Um, when, when it happened, everybody knew that it was not your normal, typical U.S. citizen in a foreign country doing something incredibly egregious and has to, play, has to pun be punished for it. Everybody knew what the deal was. I always took the, the position, and, and I think a, a, a lot of other people did too, that there was a point that the more we complained and the more attention we brought to it and the more we demanded that the Russian government do something, given how many other Americans are out there, being held um, illegally, I knew that the more noise we made, the more we threatened, and the more we um, made it a cause, the longer it was going to take for us to get Brittany back. So I'm really happy that in the last five months, however long, it's been really quiet, and people behind the scenes did what they do, and it turned out the way it turned out. And I'm happy for Brittany. I'm happy for her family. And uh, I don't look at this as a, a win for women's basketball or the women's basketball community. And, you know, I, I, I'm not that guy and I'm not that person. I look at it as, you know, the right thing to do was done. Whatever the motives were, I don't care. The right thing to do was done. I just hope that whoever made that decision over there makes the same decision on whoever else is over there from the U.S. that doesn't belong over there. So this is a great sign for, for humanity, not for women's basketball. And hopefully it's a sign going forward of what can happen when you sit down and talk about it behind the scenes, not in the media. You don't win, <laughs> you don't win a battle with that particular government through the media. And so I'm glad we, I'm glad we got, we got Brittany back.